hey welcome to the next channel this is unlike my uh, regular uh, linux channel videos i thought uh, to share this interesting hardware which i got it in amazon i got this uh, full length uh, pci you know uh, extension uh, cable or something like this <laughs> so you can see here it has uh, you know this extension uh, ribbon cable and uh, it's uh, done in this uh, fairly you know simpler way uh, it is no way it is going to be sturdy or something like that but it just works so i thought uh, let me do a quick test because this is not something i'm going to use it like this forever or uh, sometimes i may use it in my server or something on demand basis or else i may install it in some way in case in, i need to you know deploy something uh, in uh, in a different orientation rather than something you fix it on a case see these things are quite often it happens in a server like chassis or uh, uh, you know cabinet rather than the standard desktop uh, sometimes in desktops if you have any uh, mini atx or micro atx or something like that then you need some type of converter right like this because you may not have the space then you need to adapt and then connect that you know pci card elsewhere rather than directly hooking up on the motherboard so this motherboard since it is happens to be a gaming motherboard it has quite enough uh, regular length uh, pcie slots you can see here it has uh, one two three and four and other than that it has a couple of shorter ones and it has this m.2 port so to prevent any dust or uh, anything uh, falling in that uh, slots i covered with this type of uh, masking tape so that i can quickly remove and then install if i need and it needs a less amount of maintenance uh, you know any debris or anything going in that uh, slots okay so this is uh, something i thought i need it for my uh, server so after i got it from amazon i thought uh, let me do a quick test and uh, i tested with my other uh, gpu you can see here it has this regular uh, you know full length gpu see these gpus are not that expensive these are uh, you know sub 50 or 60 dollar gpu so this is quite uh, handy in case if you need them for any type of server installation so even in my case although i use this as my regular desktop uh, other than editing my few youtube videos or watching videos i don't uh, play any games and this is my you know standard day to day you know uh uh you know desktop you know so i use it for uh, you know day-to-day -day use but uh, since i don't play any games i don't need any powerful uh, gpus i just need a display port out of it uh, since it's a gaming uh, motherboard it doesn't come with any inbuilt uh, gpu as well the processor also doesn't come with any inbuilt uh, you know gpu or something like that so i need uh, definitely an external uh, gpu but in case if i have any server in case if i don't have any regular uh, slots or sometimes if i install the main issue is if i install this type of a gpu because you can see here it is fanless uh, design uh, but what happens is since they have this uh, extended uh, heat sink okay once this is slotted in you cannot use this uh, you know shorter ones at all so i have my other uh, uh, server which has all uh, you know shorter ones but it has only one regular pcie port so you cannot install this and once you install this it is going to block all the shorter uh, pci slots so it is uh, having around three pci slots but uh, you know it is going to block everything and uh, after this one is installed or sometimes even any you know gpus a uh, little bit bigger than this is installed you cannot use uh, you know you know the one which is next right to that so this thing kind of it helps uh, uh, but provided you need to somehow uh, find a way to you know uh, mount this hardware so of course it is challenging but again these type of adapters you will find often in uh, you know servers sometimes you may need them because you will have some provision you know something like that to fix this way you know your pci slots but it is not going to be slotted directly onto the motherboard so in that way you need some type of you know cable like this so that it brings that you know pci and it can connect to that stuff so it it can be used for multiple purposes in my situation i thought i can use it whenever i need some debugging or something like that or else it is just quite useful because uh, you can see even in this situation assume you are buying a new you know pci card before you uh, deploy you test it or else you have this uh, something like this a spare one see for example this is a tp link uh, ethernet uh, nic card which i am uh, you know kept it as a spare one 
I am not using this at this point. Uh, having said, I may use it for my Freena server as a uh, LACP uh, configuration. So I can use this uh, and I can do bonding LACP or something like that. And I can use it uh, along with my other, uh, you know, Ethernet card and I can use it as a failover or something like that. I can do bonding and I, I can do anything. Okay. So at the moment i am not using it but you know in case if you order and in case if you get you can quickly test this way rather than you know uh, dismantling and then you know fixing to the motherboard and you can do all the you know regular stuff having said sometimes uh, you will get also options like this side you will have the regular uh, pcie uh, slot versus it is going to adapt and that side it is going to have 2x or 4x kind of an adaption so that kind of adapters also available sometimes you can adapt the shorter one to that full length size but if you adapt something like that and if you connect you know some you know gpu something like this to that adapted one uh, you will get a loss in uh, performance because it is not going to have access to all the PCI lanes. Instead, it is going to have less PCI lanes, which is still fine in case if you are doing some uh, Bitcoin mining and stuff like that. That is why they sell these extension boards where you can externally, you know, connect this uh, GPU cards somewhere elsewhere next to that, you know, uh, main uh, uh, system rather than installing all of them in that motherboard so something like that you can adapt but the, yeah, even this is quite you know handy uh, there is one uh, drawback uh, is uh, sometimes if you connect any powerful uh, gpu so it may need this 8 pin uh, you know power uh, uh, you know uh, a DC power uh, supply so in case if you don't have that you need to extend somewhere else from this you know power supply and then you need to anyway connect it to that you know GPU card so that is quite cumbersome but uh, these type of uh, you know low end ones doesn't have any you know 8 pin uh, uh, power connector so it is still fine you can just use as it is something like this okay because uh, these type of uh, uh, GPUs are quite useful for uh, server type applications because uh, most of the times you may use some console or some type of desktop share or something like that you may configure sometimes uh, uh, I'm saying a proper uh, one you two you server you know something like that you may use it hardly once in a while to configure its BIOS or something and after that you may never uh, touch it and uh, even having said if it has any IPMI or something like that is again you can elsewhere remotely access as well so it is quite rarely required for server type applications and those are the type of applications you know these type of gpus are quite handy but in my case since i don't any uh, play any extensive games it's just basic video render and video watching most of the times so i am fine with something like that but what i need is more compute power and also i need more ram to run more vms and stuff like that so and as well, I need a more stable performing system. So I have this, uh, you know, liquid cooled stuff. The CPU is liquid cooled, as you can see here. So this way, what happens is it is not going to do this throttling and, you know, uh, frequency scaling and all that stuff. So that way it kind of, you know, works for me. But in case if you're, you know, keen about graphics performance, of course, you need to think about it. And in case if you want to configure something in SLA or something like that, maybe you need to check you know further options so one uh, learn uh, learning curve what i got is whenever you need such applications choose a motherboard having as many as uh, you know pci slots as something like this uh, let it be even amd also so you can choose something like that that's the small mistake i have done when i uh, built my uh, freena server because the server has less SATA ports uh, compared to a motherboard like this this motherboard have tons and tons of you know set up ports hope you can see here let me shine light through you can see here it has so many pci ports so it has totally one two three four five six seven eight nine ten around ten uh set up ports okay i'm sorry not pci it has you know 10 SATA ports versus uh, uh, the server whatever I have built with the Ryzen processor the motherboard has four SATA ports and I have to extend them uh, via this uh, you know PCIe to SATA uh, extension cards so something like that uh, you know what happens is it is going to eat away all the available free slots and if you need any uh, display or something like that then it is going to be a bottleneck because again in the server it doesn't have inbuilt uh, uh, you know uh, GPU 
so i need to if i need a display or something i need to plug in some gpu card so something like that i need at any cost one you know pci slot available but once you consume the same a, a gpu like this or a bit powerful ones so what happens is it is going to block the next adjacent one so something like this see the next adjacent one you cannot use anymore because it is going to block that and you need to end up you know using whatever it is available after that which is not an issue in this motherboard because it is quite large you can see here it has tons of uh, you know things which you can put and provision versus uh, sometimes your hardware may not have that okay so this is what so let me just show you that uh, you know uh, the network card it is all working fine i can take you to my desktop and we can walk around you can see it has uh, come up okay and um, you can see here this is the motherboard's uh, nic card which is not currently connected uh, so this is the one which is uh, connected so it is up and it is getting this ipv or dhcp because it doesn't have any set ip address okay and uh, i can uh, do a ping and also we can check its uh, capabilities with this uh, heath tool and stuff so i can see some differences so the standard motherboard uh, nic card is a much expensive one so versus uh, this is a tp link nic card i can do one thing i can do this uh, ls uh, cpu uh ls pci yep ls pci and uh, you can filter it out with some option like uh, grab ethernet something like that and uh, you should able to capture that you know uh, nick card so let me do with some other way uh, yeah yeah this is the one this is the motherboard nick card intel uh, you know nick card versus uh, this one is a real tech controller so if you do now ls mod uh, you should able to see you know e1000 uh, which is my motherboard nick card so ls mod grep e1000 e so this is my motherboard nick card other than that uh, we should able to see this r18169 uh, or something like that i hope that's the one or else 8168 uh we see if the driver somewhere it has this footprint okay uh 8169 yeah you can see here real tech and stuff like that so this is not going to appear if i don't have this uh, you know hardware in place so it confirms that that extension thing is working fine uh, i was quite uh, skeptical while buying or ordering in amazon i found uh, you know some reviews saying that it is flimsy and uh, stuff uh, but uh, you know one have to go with that whatever it has put forward because one thing they could have done is they could have encapsulated this in some kind of plastic molding and even over this side so that is quite uh, uh, going to be handy to pull it out so unfortunately they have not done that but uh, they have provided a small uh, tab over here uh hope let me just lift it up so this tab is quite useful in case uh, before you install any gpu you can just you know pull it out and then you can push it so that it locks that you know especially you need to connect it to a server and uh, instead of mounting this way you need to mount it in some other direction okay uh, assuming that server has that provision so if you need something like that you can uh, attach uh, something like a uh, you know low profile uh, a uh, bracket or adapter even this uh, came with an extra adapter i think so so let me check its package uh, usually this is uh, you know needed for any server uh, server installation so okay it's not maybe not that required for uh, desktop installation but in case if you want to install it for a server yep it came with this uh, low profile uh, bracket so uh, yep you can see here came with the same so i can uh, replace this with this one and uh, it can be uh, slotted onto any uh, mini uh, uh, atx uh, cabinets or some kind of you know servers and stuff but having said this nickard as you can see uh, this is a tp link this is a cheap variant so it doesn't have much uh, capabilities although it's a gigabit ethernet versus uh, what is uh, you know come with the motherboard you have more options so having said based on the you know based on the hardware sometimes you may have nic cards with four ports or even 10 gig NIC, you know ethernet nic cards so in that case you may need to use more pci lanes so in general it is better to buy this type of a bracket you know i thought it is a you know interesting piece not that you will see 
quite often i thought uh, let me share the same in case if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail or post your queries in youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye